Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, gravity gurus. Get ready to dive into the world of gravity. Have you ever heard the saying, what goes up must come down? Well, that's gravity at work. Today, we're going to explore this magical force that keeps our feet on the ground. So, what exactly is gravity? It's the force that makes everything fall toward the Earth or toward other planets or objects in space. Gravity attracts all objects toward each other, pulling them to the center of their mass. It's what keeps the planets orbiting around the sun. Without gravity, we'd be floating off into space like balloons. Every object in the universe has something called mass, which is the amount of matter in an object. The size or pull of gravity depends on the mass of the objects. Remember, mass is not the same as weight. Weight can change depending on where you are, but mass stays the same. For example, your weight on the moon is different than your weight on Earth because the moon's gravitational pull is weaker than Earth's, but your mass remains constant. Question time. If someone weighs 100 pounds on Earth, would they weigh more on Earth or the moon? A, Earth, B, the moon. A. Earth. Since Earth has more mass, its gravitational pull is greater, meaning someone would weigh more there. Here's a fun fact. You exert a gravitational force on people and objects around you. But don't worry, it's not strong enough to start pulling things towards you. That's because you're not as massive as the Sun, Earth, or Moon. The next time someone tells you to use the force, you can say, I already am. Gravity gets weaker with distance. The closer objects are to each other, the stronger the gravitational pull. Did you know that the moon's gravitational pull causes ocean tides? As the moon passes over the ocean, it creates a swell in sea level. As Earth rotates, this swell moves with the moon. Gravity also keeps our atmosphere in place, allowing us to breathe and survive. True or false? Moon's gravitational pull causes ocean tides. Correct. It's true. Now let's talk about some famous scientists who made huge discoveries about gravity. Sir Isaac Newton realized that gravity is a force of attraction that depends on the mass of objects and their distance from each other. He watched an apple fall from a tree and wondered why it fell straight down. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every celestial body attracts every other celestial body. The greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force. And the closer two objects are, the stronger the gravitational pull. Albert Einstein took it further and discovered that gravity also pulls on light. Imagine a flashlight shining into the sky. Gravity will slightly bend its light. And here's a mind-blowing fact. Black holes have so much mass in such a small volume that their gravity keeps everything, even light, from escaping. Final question. Which famous scientist discovered gravity? A. Sir Isaac Newton B. Thomas Edison C. Galileo D. Nikola Tesla A. Sir Isaac Newton Wow, gravity really is amazing, isn't it? It keeps our feet on the ground and holds the universe together. The next time you see an apple fall from a tree or feel yourself jumping back to the ground, remember how awesome gravity is and share your new knowledge with your friends and family. And remember to keep your feet on the ground and your head in the stars. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.